Mark, get ready, sit, go. Start. Kelly's here. Wow. Zell is here. Perfect. Gaming. That's amazing. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Beyond a Steel Sky with Kelly. And Zelle. Welcome back, everybody. And now we just came back from the industrial sector where we found Lee. We learned more information about getting the blockers off so they can actually read and access the Minos terminals to read his messages now. So now we're back in his apartment looking to see his lovely wife and uh, to read the messages that are encrypted and kept from us. See how to chips worth, you know, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Time to read my files. <laughs> all right, let's see what you got on here. You can probably finally see his messages, right? Oh, were there no messages? Thankfully, Graham's mail access was restored. I hoped it would help me figure out more about who this guy was. You deleted 3,000 some messages. That's a lot. Mr. Grundy, the black rubber and spandex costume you ordered last week has arrived. Miss Blith and her boring wish you and your partner joyful evenings. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Graham. I know that Songbird will be at the dinner party this evening. Are you free to meet at St. Mark's Bar tonight? That's two weeks ago. Hi, Gramsy. Not seen around lately. Could you do with my camera back and some film too, if you got any? Okay. I got this one. So don't know when you if you're back. Girls coming around for film club at eight. So make it after then. S. I uh, need you to take the girl. I'm in error. That must have been from Leet. From oh yeah, see that dot L three three T. Good morning, Master Graham. Can we expect you home soon? Each day without you is a dreary day indeed. Uh, I'm hearing them again, Graham. Kids crying, they're everywhere. Anyway, I have closed the fridge and that seems to have made it all better. Mr. Grundy, you failed to attend work today. I'm sure you have a good reason. Would you be kind enough to inform us when you will return? Eunice, Songbird. What's going on, G? I'm getting a chat about your Kyoto levels and people are beginning to talk. Uh, he says, are you back at Graham? This is making me nervous. It's a week now. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Master Graham. Can we expect you home today? I spent Mr. Glory's smile on your face. Aw, Chip. Graham, you've not been home for a week. Your kiddos levels have dropped so low, I expect you're, there are rats in the sewers with a better rating. This looks bad on me. Ooh. It can be confirmed that your absence has not ch changed operational productivity, but your own convenience. We have a form of being who may wish to pay you a visit. Hey, Gramzy, not heard back. Want to hang out? Gee off. It's the fizz, Gram. They're putting it in the in the fizz. Just don't drink it, man. Turn your brain to a mushroom. Industrial cleaning robot requires attention. Last message, my battery is low and it's getting dark. <laughs> it's, uh, where are you? I wish I didn't wash your underwear in over a week, and it makes me concerned. I can't imagine your, your, how your gusset is holding up. Ew. Knock, knock, Gram. Movie night tonight at mine, Gramsy? Bring your own spankles, chips, and dips. Have we met this Geoff person at all? I don't think we have. Okay. Graham, a well-being mentor has arranged a visit tomorrow. Make sure you're back. I don't want him inquiring about my kudos claims. Okay. Oh, she has an attachment with that one. You see that? Or is that just That one, me? that's the next one. Oh. Whatever unknown author was, had sent Graham an attachment for the hollow plinth. Oh, okay. You want to read this one? Hi, Graham. Thank you for your inquiry about our range of range of Hololens imagery. Attaches a special image you requested. Oh. Can we actually look at it? I I guess it just automatically gives it to us. I guess. Hi, Graham. Let me know when Sombrek is out, and I will bring over her aspiration party dress. It was such a lovely suggestion of yours. I hope it helps make things better. I haven't heard from you in a couple of weeks. I hope Sombrek hasn't caught on. Oh. Graham, the well-being mentor will be here today at 10.30. Where are you? Please, just this once, don't let me down. Due to your unauthorized absence from work for 14 days, you have been deducted kudos and your employee's status reduced. Okay. Watch out for the revolution, man. They stole the circuit board of Joey 
The savior today, they'll stop at nothing. The revolution. Watch out for the revolution. Man. Oh, okay. Wow. Your newly adjusted and fitted work uniform has arrived, sir. It ha I have placed it in your wardrobe. Oh. Cool, great. Cool. This is all today. One day, huh? Oop. I want to look more at that. There was more stuff to look at. We got some hollow brooches, it looks like. I know, I want to look at those. Welcome to my house. Okay. So oh, clever. so we can change this to a different design, it looks like. <laughs> the eyeball or the electrical one. <laughs> the eyeball would be pretty good. Okay. Oh. To just have them highlighted because of... They're new, I'm guessing. I'll just do the eyeball. I have three eyes. City Live. Oh dear, okay. Play message. We have noticed your kiddos levels have dropped. Oh, I think this is when we first read it. So if you go down towards the bottom, I think it will show our more recent ones that we can probably go to. I think. Yeah, because we've already read all these before. Yeah. We just need the most recent ones. Personality, spankles, your IQ, your kudos level. <laughs> Missing worker, llama. This was today. Oh, okay. Uh, the Council of Ministry of Aspiration was all citizens a very happy Aspiration Day. Preparations are underway for the celebrations of the Aspiration Platform. Everyone with appropriate job kudos levels is warmly invited to join the festivities. We look forward to seeing you there. Keep a smile on your face. Hey, hey Kays. Yeah. Uh, due to your unexplained absence for your works, an appointment has been arranged for you and Yeah. Oh, I think we've already done that. Saw that. I think uh, we've done good this. Good work, healthy citizen, Spanko. We're a member now. Uh, museum regretfully announces the premature closure of the old history museum. We've pro oh, okay. So it looks like they just, they closed down the old exhibit, unfortunately. Yeah, when we broke out today. <laughs> Uh, Wonder Map 2.0, a special something to enhance your cleaning robot's productivity. It seems like it's possessed. We have beers today. Uh, Non-human life forms could be reported in the Ministry of Comfort, so that vermin droids. We look at these animals. Okay. Oh, bless me. Have uh, yourself with beauty. Council Ministry of Safety would like to agree. The safe, safety advice do not under circumstances. Okay, so. Just typical stuff. Just typical stuff, yeah. Holoplith. Holoplith. Oh, these are like unlockables or stuff, right? There was Hello. one thing I was sure of. That was not a bonsai tree. <laughs> uh, it's probably a uh, adult graphic, I'm guessing. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it just... It just shows you them. I don't know if you can interact with them. Like, I can't even select it. It's more like, oh, for your eyes only. It's special bonds, I... Hmm. I think that's about it. Apologies, have a bit of a sniffle. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. <laughs> Oh, what is he printing? Looks like diamonds and stuff. Hey, chilling. Joey. What now, Foster? I don't get it. We've searched this whole place, but I feel like we're still missing a key piece of information about Graham. Stop, are you? Yeah. I once heard that humans do some of their best thinking while sitting on the toilet. Oh. How is that helpful? How should I know? You're the human. Let's talk later, Joey. <sighs> okay, Foster. That's right. He said, uh, business. the wife said he was all secretive about it, and then, uh, he was he, spending a lot of time in the bathroom, in the bathroom. for some reason. Oh, uh, okay. Employee of the month. Ooh. I guess we could just re-look around here. This is literally set on the toilet. Oh. Open top and sensor. Bidet jet, flush, clean exterior. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we want to change anything. Yeah. 
I guess, kind of explore or interact with the things in here. After ten years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? Best Tempting. thing is done on the toilet. I'd already had my monthly bath. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. Thank you for consulting on a regular basis. Give me a huh. checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any further advice for me? Callocephala fimbriata are dangerous carriers of disease. Never approach, and if you touch one, report for immediate disinfecting. Do not feed the birds. <laughs> Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's okay. all for now. Keep a smile on your face. I was a uh, healthier than Graham. There's gotta be something in this bathroom. So that with the toilet, they employ them off. Maybe we do have to realign stuff here. Uh, so shower unit, open top. Open tab. Uh, bidet. Wait, what about the toilet? The auto toilet? What about the bidet jet along with the open top or something? I'm gonna try flipping those two. Maybe there's something in the compartment in the toilet? After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. Hmm. So we can use the sink. Is the sink the only one we can use? Then maybe we have to make the sink do something else. Well, we could also interact with that screen thing there, too. Maybe open top on the sink? But that was Wait, is that what we had before? That was originally with the sink. Uh, maybe the shower? Because we can't interact with anything. Well, no, you have to walk into it. So it said, "Citizen enters the shower." Can we walk into it? No, oh, we can't. Literally, ah. Uh. We can just interact with the sink. So I'm feeling like there's something else we're missing here. Wait, water boy? Wait, what? Did you see that? Yeah, it was somehow picking up something else. A water boy close by or something. I'm sure the person probably moves or whatever the case is, so maybe we have to do that. Does he just literally sit to wait for that person to come by and then changes it? That'd be funny. Maybe we have to bring something else from the other rooms in the area? I don't think so. Let we just talk to Joey some more, I don't know. Joey? I hear you. Any advice? Hey, I might be the smart one, but that doesn't mean I have all the answers. Besides, you'll feel better if you work some things out for yourself. You don't have a clue, do you? Not the slightest. <sighs> <laughs> oh, okay. Any advice? Foster, I spent ten years in a glass coffin. What am I supposed to say? Avoid poison apples? Uh, that would be helpful. Let's talk later, Joey. Okay, Foster. There's gotta be something he's hiding in the bathroom. That's a toilet. <sighs> Flush? that be something? Yeah. 
If it turns the shower on, right? Can you do that? Or, like I thought. This Go to the, the scanner toilet. again. Huh? Oh, was it the toilet? Yeah, it was the toilet. Uh. Open top. Why? But this is. Maybe this switch those ones around? That? Yeah, try it. Well, no, you want to use the toilet now since we, since we switched it. I thought that was the toilet. Oh, you meant like going over to the toilet. Yeah, like the bidet button says now open top. Can we do anything with the toilet? Close? Close. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. There was a. Whoa! Boat. Curious. Oh, we found something at least. Climb? Climb. Oh! So would he. Look out or get out of the. A box had been hidden outside the window. Oh. If I could get the window open, I'd be able to reach that box. Wow, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. The window open. Do we have Chipsworth do it for us? I think so. Chipsworth? Hello, Master Graham. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you open the windows, Chipworth? Very good, sir. All right. Oh, and then she gets like super pissed because we open the windows. There was a boot print. Curious. Someone had stepped up onto the toilet seat. <laughs> and it was me. I'm certain of it. It matched the boot on my uniform. <laughs> my god, another bird in the way. The plants needed watering badly. <sighs> Shoo. The gang gang had a ferocious beak. I was lucky not to lose a finger. Give him another uh, hot dog thing. Here you okay. go. How many do you have, Foster? Oh yeah, go for it. You got this, birdie. Damn Whatever was in the lines. box, Graham had clearly not wanted anyone to find it. Inside was a small glass lens. It had deep cuts scored across its surface. But that wasn't all. Tucked beneath was a photograph. A picture of a stalker. A child's face pressed against the window. Suddenly I realized that it wasn't just Milo. It was clear that multiple children were being taken into the city. And somehow, Graham was connected to it. Hmm. Okay, well that's a big development. Excuse me, please? Chipworth? Good evening, sir. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Can you water the plants? Please, can you water the plants, Chipworth? <laughs> Very good, sir. The plants need a good watering. All right, let's see here. Hollow lens. Oh yeah, is this the printer? Or they were, he was using it? A printer? It was rare to see one of those. It looks like a graph of the hollow ends below that, which is interesting. There's posters on the wall. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. I wasn't expecting it to change like that. The 
box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. So is that what we have? A sword? The blade was cracked. Yep, camp lander clothes. Hanging in photographs. Wait, look at the photographs to see if they're the missing kids or something. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So wait, do we have to put the hollow plant lens on that hollow plant like scanner thing? Scanner? There's a scanner? You don't know inefficient. The display right on. there? This? If I was organic, yeah. I'd have swapped my guts for a battery pack years ago. Ahem! I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Oh. So it showed where lead was. That's the E1594. Oh, yeah, it showed it where lead Excuse was. Excuse me, please. Okay. That's a lot of towels there. I swapped the lens back to the original one. The plinth was showing the toy's tracking data. Oh, it's just the same thing. Okay. It's the same thing. At least to our knowledge. Yeah. I mean, we have to ask Songboard more information about the... She's quite the charmer. I can see why he married her. Excuse me, Songbird? Oh, you're back. I see you've changed. Good idea. You looked like a Gaplander. Can I open the window? I'd rather you didn't. Why not? See those clouds out there? Yes. That's not water vapor. Oh. Can I ask you about some missing children? I'd rather you didn't. Looks like Graham was quite the photographer. Oh, he was dreadful. At first I thought he was an artist. Then I found out he used those ridiculous antique cameras. It took hours to see the finished photographs. And he took forever fussing with the lighting. Mm. The only good thing about his photographs is that I'm in most of them. What do you know about the council? They run the city. You know, like they always have since Joey left. Excuse me. Can I speak to them? <laughs> <laughs> Not with Graham's ID, you can. Hello, Chips Boy. This is very difficult to talk. Yeah. Bye. Can we talk to Joey? I'm just gonna switch these back just in case they do. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So either way, it had the location of where... Right. Ahem! If we talk to Joey does anything, does he have anything different to say? Hey, Joey. What's up, Foster? Okay. Any advice? Eat, breathe, and poop. <laughs> oh, and make sure you get an oil change every now and then. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> Goodbye, we and then show- find out more about Graham. Okay, how's this? He's super boring. That's not really giving me anything to go on. You know what else is super boring? This conversation. But- Next. Let's talk later, Joey. Give him the okay, hollow lens, the cracked hollow lens, to see if he has anything to say about it. What do you make of this? It's a lens for something. Probably for a projector of some kind. Uh, a 
up with the photo. photo. This yeah. is the thing that attacked my village. Oh, I see it. Small, sticky-fingered little monsters always touching everything. Not the kid, Joey. The stalker. You have your monsters, Foster. I have mine. <laughs> oh, that wasn't any help. So we have to put on our projector if this is not already one already. I swapped the lens for the broken one from the lockbox. It was a secret message. Aspiration Gala. Midnight. Be there. The Gala. That's tonight. And I need to be there. Oh, okay. Good thing I switched that back. Was that a different lens? What happened? I guess so. I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay, cool. I swapped the lens back to the original one. The image being displayed on the hollow plinth had changed. The hollow lens now projected fragmented data. Whoever had sent me this email attachment was trying to tell Graham something. But what? Oh, this is from the email attachment? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, we can hit done. Um. I'm pretty sure that was just the location we showed before. Pretty sure. So... So then we just have to go to the Aspiration Gala at midnight tonight. Hmm. Songbird's not in here anymore. Nah. Jasmine. Ah, uh, the chair blocks us from going through. Excuse me, please. Oh. Oh, I know where to go. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Right to go outside to him. The party, yes. Who knows, maybe when we leave it just auto plays. Maybe. To what's his name? Tarpon? Tarpin. Yes, him. Tarquin. Got a minute. Excuse me. Apologies if my loquacious musings disturbed one. Hello again. Good evening, Master Grundy. Off to work, I see. What? Oh, yes. The cleaning won't supervise itself. Are you going to the Aspiration Gala? Going? One is headlining, sir. Oh. What do you mean? Yours truly is performing in front of the best and brightest of Union City. Performing what? Droid poetry, sir. Oh, boy. <laughs> Who are you again? Tarquin, Fidelis Mark II Domestic Savant, at your service. So you're a servant? Savant, please. I am a highly engineered personal aide. As an honored guest, do you have any spare tickets for tonight's Aspiration Gala? Yes. One has been granted several refer-a-friend passes to the Aspiration Gala. Can I have one? Would sir consider us to be friends? <laughs> yes, of course. Moments ago, sir did not remember one's name. Yes, but... In spite of the 322 exchanges we have had since we became neighbors. Yeah, I can see how that might hurt a bit. So this poetry performance you mentioned, what's the story? Ah. One has been invited to recite a humorous poem of one's own devising at tonight's Aspiration Gala. You, a droid, have been tasked with writing a poem? Oh, yes, sir. The poet laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire performs regularly at the gala. And this year, he has invited me to open for him by reading an inspirational and humorous example of droid poetry on stage. 
Troy poetry. How's that working out? Very good, sir. Reginald has told me that whatever I read, it will be hilarious, and the people will laugh uncontrollably. Hmm. Laugh at or laugh with. Oh, is there a difference? <laughs> That's what I thought. So tell me more about Reginald. Poet Laureate Reginald Arthur Schnipple Esquire is a comic genius. Is that so? He has performed at every Aspiration Gala since the event's inception. Without fail, leaving the crowd in fits of uproarious laughter. He sounds like a real hoot. To work alongside him would be a profound honor. Oh, wow. If I gave you a bit of inspiration for your poem, could you get me into the gala? Sir, that would be only fair. I'm sure Sir would enjoy the fruits of that inspiration at the performance. I realized if I could help Tarquin with his poem, he could get me into the gala. All right. Could I hear some of your droid poetry? We could do that. Fine idea. One would value the input of an average human. If you're looking for average, he's your man. After 140,606 iterations, I have narrowed down the contenders to a manageable number. Here is number 59. <clears throat> there was once an A from place B, with unforeseen predicate P. Factor F occurred next, which resulted in X, and hilarious consequence C. Ha! Brilliant! Bravo! It might be a little... on the nose. Dear me, it's not about noses. It is a study of the structure of a limerick, assembled into the pattern of an actual limerick. How very... clever. Indeed. <laughs> that is what makes it so very funny. Absolutely. Might be a bit distant there. Hmm. You got any other poems in the running? Oh, yes, sir. One has a list of things humans find funny. Shoot. <clears throat> Uncooked sausages, dogs wearing costumes, music of the tuba, children falling down, undone zippers, people dropping sandwiches, knock-knock jokes, and the smell of farts. <laughs> <laughs> that one was pretty good. I don't get that one at all. But it has a good beat, and it's easy to dance to. The rhythmic structure is satisfying, is it not, sir? Very. And the farts, sir? That's the best bit. <laughs> Any more poems? Oh, of course. This poem is an attempt to bring droids and humans closer together. It okay. interlaces the brain-altering ingredients of spankles with the first 100 digits of the square root of two. Sounds like a hit already. <clears throat> Cyclomate of sodium! 1.41421 Flavorant toxicity Potassium benzoate 09504880168872 High fructose I think I get the idea But there are 13 more verses <laughs> Oh Foster let him finish It's got something for everybody 4209698. Monosodium! Save it for the gala. Don't want to spoil the show now, do you? Yeah. So just to be clear, I give you inspiration, you get me into aspiration. Inspiration for aspiration. That's rather clever. And it rhymes. Sir's genius is luminescent. <laughs> In that case. Let me go see what I can find. See what you can find? Uh, I guess. Still working on finding that inspiration. Glad to hear it. Unrelated question. Any idea where I might find Reginald? Oh. He's likely in the piazza, finalizing his humorous poem for tonight's event. But I'm his servant, not his keeper, sir. Great. Maybe we have to go talk to Reginald? Yeah, that see you would soon, be Tarquin. I do hope that I'll also be seeing you. Talk with Reginald, maybe get some, uh... 
some pointers or something about? Oh, there is Songbird. Busy Epicure. Huh. Welcome, Citizen Graham. Where would you like to go? The Piazza is the place for me. It would be my pleasure, Citizen Graham. The Pizza Plaza. Oh yeah, there's Joey. And a new body. Now we can float. Whee! But he can't back you. He can't suck her blow, though. <laughs> ah, teach their own, I suppose. Tarquin's master, Reginald, was supposed to be around here somewhere. All right, and that's where we'll end it for today. My name is Kelly. And I'm Zelly. And we'll see you in the next one, where we talk to Reginald to learn more about Inspire to get Aspire. See you there. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Just tap it.